Dear Madam, I am requested by the Council of the Association to return to you the draft of a paper on the truth of alchemy, which you have been good enough to offer to read at our forthcoming meeting, and to inform you that the Council do not see their way to including it in the program. I am Yours faithfully Secretary April 20. The Secretary of the Association begs respectfully to inform Miss Carswell that it is impossible for him to communicate the name of any person or persons to whom the draft of Miss Carswell's paper may have been submitted, and further desires to intimate that he cannot undertake to reply to any further letters on this subject. Julia Carswell stood naked before Mephistopheles. Julia Carswell knew that her own life was not in any danger. She had used witchcraft and spells in the, the past to call the devil's servant into her world. The riches she had obtained due to loyalty to Mephistopheles were beyond the imagination of the many. What shall I do? She inquired. And I have that gift for you, that you desired. She had always wondered why she never had any inhibitions when in front of the devil's chief soul collector. Her loyalty to this creature had made her a very wealthy woman. But she knew he would soon be expecting more and more. Julia narrated back to him her replies from the council. Dear Madam, I am sorry to say that my engagements do not permit of my affording you an interview on the subject of your proposed paper. Nor do our laws allow of your discussing the matter with the committee of our council, as you suggest. Please allow me to assure you that the fullest consideration was given to the draft which you submitted, and that it was not declined without having been referred to the judgment of a most competent authority. No personal question it can hardly be necessary for me to add can have had the slightest influence on the decision of the council. Metostopheles broke into rage, even though his rage was controlled. Julia Kurzweil felt the slight change in the intonation in his voice. He said, How dare these worms reject my words? How dare these creatures mock Metostopheles? They shall crawl on their bellies and tremble. You shall wait for a signal. You will know when you receive it what to do. Now you may go. And leave me my gift. <laughs> 